So let's see if we have some power. If everything is alright, we should have around 65 volts here. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Our soon to be two year stay in Sweden is about to come to an end. And real soon we're sailing away to explore the world once again. It's early morning and I'm on my way to the boat again to tidy up today. Just tomorrow we're moving back on board and uh, yeah, we have a lot of things to do now to get the boat and us and everything prepared for, uh, for leaving Sweden. starting to look pretty decent here now. It's incredible how fast the place becomes a mess when you're doing a major job on the boat, when you have to bring out all the tools and uh, yeah, lots of stuff. So that's it for today. Looks a lot better, but I'm not uh, finished. I'll have to come back tomorrow. Finish up, but uh, at least now we can move in. It's uh, not a total mess anymore. First night on board after three and a half weeks away from the boat never been away this long. Came back last night after we welcomed uh, my dad and the family back to the house again. But it felt so nice to come back on board. I was thinking like if it would be difficult the switch now since we've been living house life for so long. But it was so easy. It always is. It felt so cozy to get down here, down below. Now the project get rid of a thousand spiders Anna, will Anna, start. Anna, and Anna. spider webs. Other than that, there are so many spiders and it's not like teeny weeny spiders. It's this size. Everywhere. And so many spider webs. So now it's cleaning outside that we have to do and start the arch project and the solar panels and all the antennas. This harbor is infamous for the amount of spiders. And it's a never ending battle for boulders to keep the spiders away during the warmer months of the year. How's it going? It'll take a while. There's so much. And it's hard to get up. And then tonight when it gets dark, the spiders will come out again. Because we, <laughs> we're not getting rid of those. We're, not, no. we're only getting rid of their no. webs. So maybe you're wondering why we haven't got the solar panels up and running yet since we did the installation of them this past winter. But uh, it was a really cold winter so it was hard to work on pulling the cables through the pipes in the arch and then we started sailing. We went up the west coast here in Sweden so the focus turned to sailing instead. But now it's finally time and I'm really excited to try these solar panels out. So yesterday I pulled through most of the cables for everything that's going to sit on the solar arc. It uh, was uh, quite a lot of work and some cables got stuck and it was um, yeah, not an easy task. But now most of the cables are pulled through. 
so I think the goal for today will be to connect the solar panels to the MPPT charge controller for the panels. Um, but I still have some cables left that I need to pull through and also I need to find a way, a good solution to pull all those cables through the deck and create a tight seal for that of course. Uh, I think I will be using um, this type of, uh, I don't know what you call them in English, but uh, cable through holes, <laughs> something like that. So I have a few hours now on my own because Marlin and Vera are away meeting um, Marlin's sister and Vera's uh, cousin. So I'll try to make the best of that time, but unfortunately it's raining right now. So yeah, maybe we'll have to start doing something here inside instead and see if the rain stops later on. Not the best day to try out your new solar panels. <laughs> yeah, I need to remove this mattress again to get to the cables that are going through that channel over there um, from the deck. Uh, the only thing is that this mattress is super heavy because it's made of some, uh, well, I don't know the brand, uh, Tempur, Tempur mattress. So it's like this memory foam and it's very thick and it weighs like, I don't know, 50 kilos. <laughs> I feel like you're pulling out a dead horse or something. It's just... <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, so the panels are being connected to this, the MPPT charge controller. I have already connected the cables to the actual charge controller. So they are going out here. And there's another cable, or two cables, coming up uh, or coming down from deck. So I just need to connect those, uh, because I'm going to use the old cables uh, for that, uh, from deck level to down to here. One of the benefits of these new panels are that they have a, a really high voltage. I think it's 68 volts. And because of that, the cables can be a lot thinner, which is nice because the voltage drop uh, will be less with these new panels than uh, it used to be. Because the old panels had uh, only 24 volts in them, uh, so we'll use the same cables that they were hooked up to. Um, so we'll be more efficient now with the, yeah, the higher voltage in these panels. So that voltage will reach the charge controller, which will convert it to 24 volt to charge the batteries. Um, and this charge controller, it can take up to 100 volts uh, in 30 amps. And we have around, uh, what is it, 12 amps or something like that in uh, 65 volts. So we have plenty of capacity in that uh, charge controller for the panels we have. So on a perfect day, these panels should produce 33 amps in 24 volts. So that's uh, quite a lot, uh, 66 amps in 12 volts. It's quite a lot of power, it's a big difference from uh, what we used to have. We, on this boat we used to have only 100 watts in total, uh, which was way too little for the, our consumption. Uh, so this will be a really good upgrade. Uh, on the old run, uh, we used to have two panels, 150 watts each, so 300 watts in total. And that was, yeah, barely okay. I would say it was uh, around 100 watts too little for our usage. Uh, so 800 watts together with lithium batteries on this boat, uh, hopefully that will be plenty enough. I think so, uh, but I guess it's something you get used to pretty quickly, so um, as always when you get new stuff and more capacity you tend to start using more power. If you have a water maker you use more water and uh, I guess it's the same thing with, with electricity. If you have more of it you will just use more. Once I got the cables pulled through, it was easy to hook them up to the panels. So 
let's see if we have some power. If everything is alright, we should have around 65 volts here. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Turns out that the old panels were connected in a series. And I want to connect these panels in parallel. That's why I couldn't have, that's why I didn't have any voltage here. So I just have to reconnect a couple of cables up here. And uh, then it should be okay. Um, there are some advantages of having your panels connected in a series. You will get a higher voltage and uh, less voltage drop uh, in your cables because of that. And also you can have thinner cables. So under perfect circumstances, if you have no shadows and nothing is, everything is running fine and you have perfectly sun directly on your panels, it's of course better to have them in a series. But in real life, that's rarely the case, especially in a boat. And there is a lot of things in a boat that can uh, throw a shadow across your panels. Uh, and because of that, I think in real life situation, it's always better to connect your panels uh, in parallel instead. Because that way, if you have a shadow on one of the panels, that will only affect that panel and not both of them. So that's what I will do now. Yeah, I should add as well that uh, if you have big panels like the ones we have now, the voltage on them are sometimes really high. And then it's maybe not even possible to connect your panels in a series anymore. Because the total voltage will be higher than the charge controller can handle. In our case, the controller can only handle 100 volts, so if we would have connected our panels in a series, we would have been around 30 volts higher than that, so not really possible. So, let's see if we have some power on these cables. Yes, we have 71 volts. Uh, since it's raining outside, I will continue and just connect the cable from the, the solar panels to the charge controller in here. Um, and just try to run the system with one panel. And then when it stops raining, I will go outside and connect the other one. So let's see if there's any amps coming in. Right now we have 2.7 amps in 24 volts. It's a mess here in the boat and it's time for some lunch. But since it's uh, yeah, a bit chaotic here, uh, this will have to do <laughs> for lunch today. I just installed the app for the charge controller where you can see all the data, uh, how, how many watts the panels are producing and amps and everything. Right now we're producing 60 watts, 0.9 amps, that's in 63 volts, so that's the voltage from the panel. This is uh, the voltage <coughs> on the batteries, 26.7 and how many amps we have uh, going into the to the batteries, two amps in uh, that voltage. So 56, uh, 55 watts, and it's uh, raining at the moment, so. The rain stopped for a while, but it didn't take long before it started again. These solar panels have an efficiency close to 23%, making them some of the most efficient panels on the market. So it's a cloudy morning today 
and I just checked the panels and they're producing right now around 300 watts. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning so the sun isn't very high at the sky yet and as you can see it's pretty cloudy so I guess 300 watts is uh, pretty okay. Uh, but it will be interesting to see if this clears up later today when the sun is higher up how much we will get from the panels uh, by then. Den? Där. Mm, jag tycker den är rätt bra också. One hundred and fifty-three watts. This app is so cool and super useful, really. Uh, Johan has already been watching this uh, quite a lot. <laughs> so interesting to watch and to see it like this. So it becomes so real when you see all this visual solar battery. You can look at the history. Yeah, that's a really nice feature yeah. that you have how much the yield was yesterday and and you can compare yeah that way easier yeah. we have a great setup now with the solar panels so much wattage when and together with the lithium batteries it's a great setup for being self-sufficient on board we're making some lunch we have an uh, eggplant from uh, my dad's garden and we will m cook this with uh, we have garlic mama, and then mama, just, mama, mama. and then just mama, add some mama. um crushed tomatoes so it will be like a tomato sauce mama, with mama, mama. Vera is my assistant we have bought mama, this uh, really great like foldable mama. stool uh, it comes really flat and you fold it out and okay. she can stand here on the countertop and help out with mm. the cooking or the dish yep. when we wash the dishes and she has her little knife so she can cut as well what should you put it there? yeah snick These are quite busy days for us, so I'm glad that we could sit down for lunch together. Thanks for watching guys, and we hope you're coming along on this new voyage.